Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the Santa's Room. Today we are taking a look at Beat Breaker. So Beat Breaker will reorder, uh, repitch, repeat your audio live as it's been fed into the effect. So it can be either an audio track or a, a, a MIDI track. It doesn't matter. It's it's an effect. So first of all, we're going to add one to this uh, drum pattern. I'll mute that. And then we'll add one to the shimmering electric piano. Right, okay, so first of all, select the track that you want to add Beat Breaker to. Open this little button here and just add an audio effect. And you'll see it's there at the top because I've been playing with it, but I'll show you where to find it. You go into Multi Effects here, choose Beat Breaker, and there you go. And then to open it, you double tap it like this, and then you can go full screen. And if we play it now, it will sound exactly the same because this is a custom patch that you can start yourself. Now, Beat Breaker, quickly explain. You can see the audio coming in and Beat Breaker is processing this live in real time. Okay, so Beat Breaker will continue to run even when your transport is stopped. You can go here where it says default preset and choose from a bunch of presets that Apple have already made for you. Now, if I open this now, there'll probably be nothing there because it's a bug. If you have to go back, back again, choose plugin presets, and then they'll all be there like this. So for example, if I choose this TSTR sketch beat, you will see all this will change here in very cool ways. Let's have a look at the interface and see how it sounds. So it sounds like this now. Here's your mix. So you can blend your mix. Each preset, <laughs> each preset, right, has a number of patterns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine programmable patterns that you can change. So for example, and this is for each of the presets, even all the factory ones, right? So you can do all this cool effect stuff, right? But how do you make it work? Okay, well, let's go back to our presets here. Let's go back to our users. Our basic stuff. Let's just go basic beat repeater. And you'll see it says repeat one. This first one, it says time. We can adjust the timing. And if we swing... Do all sorts of crazy stuff, right? Choose repeat. But we can add in more points anywhere on the grid. Use a volume envelope. Double tap to reset that. But you can also swing the volume up or down. So if we take this one out by double tapping it, and this one maybe, let's take this volume and drag it down. Or drag it the other way. Go back to our repeater. our time you can also apply the clicking you've seen the mix of course you can adjust the mix you can also change the beats right so 
or you can go down to like 16. Let's go with some repeats on knees. Okay. Other cool things we can do, let's go back to our eight beats. change the number of repeats here, see? Right, now, as you've seen, let's just stop this. As you've seen, across the bottom here are all these different live performance patterns that you can just quickly keep jumping to. Let's go to another preset here. Let's go to, say, a, 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 a reorder one. Let's go complex arrangements. Quite some cool stuff going on here. Let's close our browser. Have a quick listen. And you'll see that this one is called backflip. And then we have soft chop. But if you want to change any of these, this is a cool one, this stair stutter. There's brain stutter. The cool thing is that these down here are also presets. Now, you, it, we can change these out, right? If we tap this little um, pencil icon here, now you'll see that there's two little up and down arrows appeared. If we tap on any of these, like this, say, deep shuffle, we get all these as custom gates. Look at this. Tons of stuff. You can apply to each of these. So I don't know what that would even sound like. Let's try. This is the poo, 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 two. Let's show what that sounds like. Let's try another. And again, you can just custom add points in. And do some really really cool stuff now say for instance you like what you've done here and you can change like lots of these up you could change this one to say this oh, i've just done that one and we'll change it to like a mixed method transition we'll change this soft chop to a a repeat 16 and like i said you can you know you can change any of these up so this is called we're going to save this as a brand new custom Beat, beat breaker pattern. So we go to these three little dots here, go save as, and we'll just call this TSTR3. And I'll just go, okay, it's a done deal. And if I go back to my user presets now, sorry, I'll just open beat breaker again. Open it full screen. If I go back to my user presets here, and I go back, go user, You'll see TSTR3 is now in there, and I could go to TSTR2, which is this one. Sketch Beat 1, TSTR3. You can see it's, we've got our new programs that we put in there. Awesome stuff. So there is the kind of <laughs> there's the kind of cool stuff you can also quantize inputs and output beats and snap speed and stuff like that. That's something that you can mess around with. Um, sorry about that. I'll just open it back up. Okay, so I've just opened it back up. Sorry about that. I closed. Um, okay, so you get the idea there. So that's kind of the cool stuff you can do with drums and stuff like that. You've also got automation, of course. Um, let us try it on this. Is shimmering electric piano so i'll just mute the drums because it's getting a bit chaotic so i'll just open this up add an audio effect and bear in mind this is maybe i'll put beat breaker in there let's open it there so we have a default preset comes in now and this is a first custom pattern we can try this is how it's changing up the audio the midi now
Let's change this pattern. Final. And it's reacting to the audio coming in. what we've just changed. is the speed here. So you can do some really, really cool stuff. Let's go back here. Hope they get this bug fixed soon. So what we got here, warped. Take a few of these out. But a lot, you know, you can, you've got a lot of karma stuff as well. Start combining these two things. Don't forget it's still processing audio as you stop it. Anyway, there you go, guys. There is a beat breaker, beat breaker video demo of the kind of cool stuff you can do, how easy it is to get it to work and just stick it on whatever you want, you know, and it's good. It's really good stuff. Yeah, I think I'll screenshot that. Whoops, I'm not going to screenshot that. 
There we go, and I'll use that for the screenshot. Brilliant, top job. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a patron, um, help support me and Joe, and I will see you later. And don't forget, if you've got Logic Pro or you subscribe to Logic Pro, go and mess around with Beat Breaker on all sorts of stuff. It's it, it's great fun. You can get some real interesting effects. I mean, you wouldn't want to use it all the time, but you can use it here and there, and it sounds nice. Anyway, brilliant. See you guys later. Ta-da!